Hello everyone and welcome to Cape Media News. I'm Emily Tellick. Cape Cod is known for its beautiful beaches, lush dunes, and a wide variety of marine creatures that live below the ocean's surface. But there are many environmental factors that can harm our oceans, including the use of plastics. Laura Ludwig and Amy Green of the Center for Coastal Studies met with Cape Media News to discuss the work they're doing to educate and promote stewardship of coastal and marine ecosystems. The Center for Coastal Studies is a marine research and uh, rescue organization based in Provincetown, Massachusetts, and it's been around for over 40 years. Um, and there's a lot of research on the geology of Cape Cod uh, the whales of Cape Cod, fisheries, and water quality, to name a few things. If you're looking for ways to reduce your plastic consumption but aren't sure where or how to start, the Center for Coastal Studies is partaking in the globally run Plastic Free July campaign and may be a good place to start. Originally it was started in Australia but it's turned into this global um, campaign that people all over the world are taking the challenge to go plastic free basically for the month of July. Um, and so it's more of just like a challenge to yourself that you see if you can reduce your plastic waste in your daily life. Plastics in the environment never go away basically. So instead of breaking down like an organic material, they just break down into smaller and smaller pieces of plastic. And so a lot of scientists are finding that if they take samples of water, basically what looks like just clean water, you find, if you look under a microscope, you find small pieces of plastic, either fibers from clothing or from rope, or you can find little pieces of, say, uh, you had, I don't know, like a plastic wrapper. They break down into small and smaller pieces of plastic that you can see under a microscope. So. These uh, microplastics are being eaten by fish and whales, um, thinking that they're types of food and it can be really harmful to the marine environment. Every day for the month of July, the Center for Coastal Studies is posting a new challenge or a new idea or some kind of information about single-use plastics. And so we're trying to make the leap into reducing your single-use plastic just a little bit easier for the public so that people, almost just like a jump start, so that people don't have to think about what they can do to change. The COVID-19 pandemic has forced a ban on reusable bags, an increase in plastic water bottle purchases, and prevented many from bringing their own containers to restaurants when getting takeout. However, the Center for Coastal Studies suggests you can still practice environmental stewardship even during these restrictive times. A lot of it is a, more of a scare that people, for some reason, have associated single-use plastics with clean, whereas I feel like you're getting water bottles from the store. It's not, it's probably cleaner to just drink your tap water where you're the only one accessing it. Now we have these challenges with the pandemic where there's been this sort of sort of misunderstood fear of using um, re reusable bags. And so we're trying to educate people about the realities of, of say, of the, of the safety and, san and sanitization options. We want to support our restaurants because we miss them and we love them. Um, but because of their safety protocols, it's very difficult for them to say, yes, bring your own container and we'll put it in there for you. And so I encourage people, if you do get those, they're very convenient, those round black takeout containers with the clear lids sometimes. Um, they last forever. Don't throw them away. Use them over and over again. And there was a time when we really tried hard to make it, you know, Cape Cod was the, the place that you bring your own bag because we don't have any grocery stores with plastic bags. And the COVID pandemic kind of set that back a little bit, not just on the Cape, but nationwide. And I do want to um, encourage people to um, read about that on some of the links that we've posted on Plastic Free July in our Facebook page. And you can learn a lot about sort of where that came from. For an individual to feel empowered is what we're really shooting for. I want people to see that it's a lot easier than, than you think to maybe reduce one or two single-use plastics in your life. It's just about opening your mind to the possibility. For more information, visit coastalstudies.org or find the Center for Coastal Studies on Facebook and Instagram. For Cape Media News, I'm Emily Tellick.